Good morning. I want to talk about gender language and the side effects. But first I want to talk about this France, right? There was this letter, I talked about this yesterday, a letter written by soldiers sent to the government and they said there is a civil war brewing in France and you know it. Okay. The reactions from the government. One of them, the socialist politician in France, he said his name is Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Right? He vowed to purge the military of the individuals responsible for the latter. Wow. So you're sitting in this house and somebody brings in the tiger, you know, opens the door, brings in the tiger, and the tiger starts killing people. But if you talk about it, you will be kicked out of the house. All right. Gender language. Right. I have a question for you, actually. Do you ever worry about being inclusive enough? Do you ever think about it? Maybe you feel guilty about not being inclusive. You know, maybe there's something wrong with me because I don't, I don't worry about this at all. I don't think about it. I exclude some people that I don't like and then I include others that I like. This is how I work and it works. Yeah. I don't feel guilty about this. I don't think about it. But there's some people who do. Progressives, yeah. A friend of mine sent me this. It's hilarious, right? Uh, this progressive group in the United States, they were talking about Mother's Day and they said calling them mothers or mums is not inclusive. We should call them birthing people. <laughs> yeah. This is inclusive. Yeah, this is the silliest thing I've heard in a long time. You know, just imagine this. You go to your mother and you say, Today, mother, we will celebrate you, you fantastic person. You are a mum. Sorry, you are a birthing person. Today we are celebrating birthing people. And you are one of them. Crazy. Uh, and finally about side effects. You know, I told all my friends, all of them, I will not take the shot. And I told them why. And I have friends who are taking the shot. I'm sure you have too. You know what I think? I don't think they will tell me if they have side effects. I, actually, I'm sure of it. They will not tell me. Because it would be like saying, you know, the authorities, they told me to take the shot. So I did. <laughs> and you know, the authorities, they didn't know anything. No, they knew nothing about any long-term side effects. They couldn't know, you see, because it's an experimental shot. So they couldn't know, and they didn't know, so I didn't know, but I took it anyway. Yeah. Admitting this would be like telling me, you know, if I tell you that I now have serious side effects, then maybe you can suspect that I'm a stupid person, that I'm uh, or lazy, you know, lazy or and or stupid. Yeah. And I, want, I don't want you to think that I'm stupid, you see. So I will not tell you about any serious side effects. Uh, I heard this. So far in Sweden, there's been 31,000 reports of side effects from the shot, which is a huge number yeah, compared to other earlier shots. Yeah. It's an amazingly big number. 31,000. So, I, I'm sure some of my friends will have these side effects, but they will not tell me. Because I would think they are stupid. Yeah. Alright. Be good.